I think that there's a TV show that airs or used to air called American Sopranos that I read the other day had to do with crime families or American Mafia. And so just off the cuff, I'd say that um, themes like that might um, mistakenly endear a crime family or the American Mafia to the American public. And so then if push came to shove and, and there were a roundup, then um, the thought might be that public endearment might mitigate the social consequence, the legal consequence. Uh, so that's just one example. Uh, then we have various shows apparently to do with um, assassination and uh, like that. I, I think perhaps that, that show about the bondsmen, the family that are bondsmen. Um, those kinds of shows tend to popula popularize serial killing. And serial killing is, is, is something that is done by the antisocial personality um, in the world today, many of whom escape recognition by being, you know, super careful and uh, very intelligent, very resourceful. Sometimes they say, possibly in positions of power or um, other times just escaping public notice. And so stories that glamorize serial killing as, say, a mercenary uh, soldier, guerrilla warfare person, or uh, assassin, or uh, bondsman hunting down people and possibly killing their target. Uh, those kinds of stories might, might lead the public to look more um, uh, softly upon people who are captured who are actually performing these actions, you see. And uh, in addition, I, I missed it, but I think there was a, it's either a singing group, what do I know, or a popular um, movie or TV show called Lords of Karma. Um, and uh, on the astral plane, I'm not sure what the show is about or like that, but on the astral plane, Lords of Karma is a term that was has used in years past, a few years back, as a uh, like a um, power over maneuver, um, mind control maneuver by people who had thought that they were what. Uh, the Ascension years call uh, controllers in, in prior to the shift in the Ascension in 2012. And, and what these people were is people with extraordinary telepathic gifts uh, during a time when most people didn't have those gifts. Here's now we have universal clear abilities and so forth. And so in those days... Uh, People with a negatively inclined uh, a third eye point or throat chakra were able to accomplish various um, what you might call astral mass media maneuvers to tailor the population to their own uh, um, <clears throat> purpose and own like wealth gaining, power gaining. Uh, motives. And so in those days, those people known as controllers, um, uh, just at the turning of the shift, were, were deciding, like a few years in advance, they were deciding, 10 years in advance, what to do if and when the shift occurred. And one of the things that they hoped to do was to decide with the ascensioneers and pass as ascensioneers and as light workers, and so um, ease their way into what they thought might be a power structure in, uh, in the new life on New Earth. And so 
under those terms, they called themselves the Lords of Karma, which interestingly enough turned out to be a, a show as well, the name of a show or a group, I don't know. And so um, these Lords of Karma were influencing for some years after the shift the light workers and the ascensioneers by on the telepathic plane with their considerable mind control abilities and, and uh, ability to to harm other people through uh, black magic and so forth, which is now abated, now pretty much gone. And so they convinced a number of people through constant like mental programming at night that that they were like in charge of the whole process and that they of of ascension and that, that they had an in with um, the beings of light and the angelic realm and all that stuff and that all the power of those regions had to flow through them to the other people all around all over earth and that was the way that it had been devised by um by people in spaceships out there and like that, which is not, as I understand it, not the way that it is. So that was another like sideways maneuver to gain popular uh, support and also to retain power for as long as possible. It's interesting, huh? So just I think in, in this context, we as humankind, as the tribe of the sun, as, as the hue, as they say, we need to just consult our own hearts, each individually. We need to have our own clear voice, the freedom to speak, whether we be man or woman. And, and we need to, from that perspective, to look at what's going on in the mass media and to decide what it is that we want to view you know, and the ratings will will have the answer. The ratings will have the answer for for everyone. You know, and and that's true of of other things that are that are on mass media right now that are less devastating, devastating for the human psyche. For instance, on the comedies, what the young people are picking up from a very early age is tearing down other people and snide remarks and being unkind and with our thoughts limiting the possibility of attaining success and abundance and having good relationships for other people you know this is considered humor being cruel to other people is considered humor and and for a person whose heart chakra is functioning uh, appropriately, it's it's more like torture. It's like it's like a disease. It's like a heart disease on the astral plane to to hear these these um, actually mass media inspired um, um, in group like digs and remarks and and actually injuries that are inflicted on the astral body of other people because of conditioning of the distortion of light sense of humor that's pretty much widespread on the mass media right now um, I'll add one other thing one other observation that I made just from looking at movie posters as I go down the street and reading about movies. And that has to do with a take on the ascension process that is very prevalent um, in the mass media on the movies at the theaters. And it has to do with being actually paralyzed with fear about this process. And, um, or very angry and like berserk or going berserk over this process or uh, knowing that it's the end of the world and that anything goes and that uh, and that and that there's no hope and so forth and that kind of thing or thinking that 
There are people in spaceships, like from hostile alien planets or like that, or galaxies that are coming down to destroy Earth, and we have to save Earth or like that. And this is pure and simple, absolute misinformation. It's the exact opposite of what's happening. So I know it represents like the subconscious fears that people have about the process and the fears of the very body cells, you know. But but can we not see uh, more inspiring uh, movies that have to do with a closer truth of the reality that's unfolding right now here on Earth, which is absolutely joyful, absolutely peaceful and harmonious, and and very much in favor of complete health for everybody on Earth and plenty of everything for everybody without taking anything away from any, anybody. You know, the truth of the thing is so, what you might call, devastatingly wonderful, you know, that, that people have a hard time accepting it. And instead, these scenarios of, like, apocalypse seem to be going around on the movies, the exact opposite of what's actually happening. So...